Hello everyone. Uh, I'm just going to put a final section onto the uh, previous video I did because I realised I didn't actually include the variation of the game at the end. So again, this was the drawn position that we discussed. And here I made the losing move King E4, which loses by one tempo, unfortunately. So um, yeah, had I have played G5, um, both black and white would end up queening at the same time, which would lead to a draw position, which was shown in the previous video. But after this, King E4, which looks good as far as the king position, unfortunately doesn't win because white will break through first, and these pawns are the same distance from queening, so black on f1 and white on b8. So yeah, here we saw the move a4, again g5 would have been best, but I played king f3, and b5, so here's the break for white, so it takes, which is forced, a takes, and then it gives g5 again, or king g2 now, which I did play. See, this pawn is stopping uh, black's pawns from moving, and obviously it's defended, so this process of using the king is very slow because we've had to play our king to e4 to f3, g2, and then takes, takes, and then push. And obviously it's very clear that white's going to win now. So we see b6, king takes h2. B7, let's take G3, B8 equals Queen, check, and then F4, blocking the attack from the Queen. Uh, this is actually a mate in 12 at the moment, it's probably less, more if I give the engine time to think about it, so it's saying mate in 10 now. King D4, which was best from white. So white needs to use the king to mate, it's impossible to mate with just the queen on its own. Uh, you know, unless these pawns can somehow block my own king. So yeah, king f3 would have been the best move. King to g4, it's now mate in 6. King e4, which is what was played, and this was the final position. So the quickest mate from this position is g5, which defends these pawns. Queen to b1, repositioning the queen. You got h4. This gives a square for the black king on h5. Queen to b3. And h3 because black only has one king move. And this looks terrible. Uh, so it gives h3 as the best move. But this does allow, of course, queen f3 check, king h4, king f5, you've got h2, and then b4 mate. So let's do conclude that game. So that didn't actually occur. I think I resigned after the move, king e4, but yeah, so again, as I said, a very interesting game, um, very instructive as far as positional play, but also shows why you should never give up, give up in chess, um, even if you're playing a stronger player, you always have chances to win, especially if you know uh, openings sometimes. Uh, your opponent can get in trouble very quickly, so just unfortunate to uh, just one bad move at the end, uh, and that was it. But uh, yeah, very nice game. Okay, thanks for watching.